£16.45. I don't know. As a Londoner, should I be embarrassed? So there you go. It is £10. Now, does London have the best Christmas markets in Europe? No, it doesn't. Of course it doesn't. But I'm going to show you a couple of the Christmas markets today. I'm going to see how I get on. It's minus three. It is a busy, it is bleak outside. Let's have a look. It is a busy morning here in Covent Garden. Yes, we're going to go around Covent Garden and hopefully try to get to Trafalgar Square, maybe even Leicester Square. We have a steady flow of tourists and people exploring the markets, but I do like some of the lights we have along here. Yes, it is not nighttime, and I've been unable to film at nighttime because it's basically rained every single day for like a week, so I haven't been able to come out, so you're getting it in the daytime. <laughs> I know it's touristy. Oh, is he alive? Oh. Why is his head like that? No, maybe maybe he's gone for a tea break, but wow, it is busy. What time is it? We're about 11 o'clock in the morning, obviously. The stone around this area is beautiful. Like I say, even in the summer, this is gorgeous, but they've got lots of Christmas trees. These were themed last year to the businesses um, around the square. So interesting, it has changed. Go to university, get a job, get a classics degree, study Latin and Greek. That's a good idea. <laughs> I like watching some of the street performers. They're good fun, aren't they? They're always here all year round. But I do have to say, look at this garland all the way around the top. Oh, look at this sky. This is a bleak, grey day here in London. Oh, someone nearly fell off the... <laughs> I'll show you in a second. Someone nearly fell off um, a swing seat over there. There's a swing opportunity and a huge queue. Uh, but yeah, good little photo op there. And with that said, this vlog is all about free things that you can do in London. Now, uh, you might be watching this in 2024, which you probably are, actually. Um, but it's always free, depending if you buy anything or not, to go around some of these. So I'm not going to show you Winter Wonderland because you do have to pay to go into Winter Wonderland. Things like £7.50 per adult. Uh, they do have uh, quite a big Christmas market there, actually. But this is, of course, free to walk around. I like it around here. And like I say, in the summer, it's gorge. And they always have a bit of a brand off on this corner. A bit of a Marc Jacobs pop-up here <laughs> with a proper camera. You usually can't film in these places. Oh, 8 p.m. Monaco. I really like their jewelry, by the way. It's quite reasonably priced. Good gift idea. And some singers as well over here. Oh, I love the spirit. And I do have to say, I went to the Royal Opera House a little while ago now to go and see a ballet, which was fantastic. I had never been here before, and it was absolutely stunning. Um, yeah, I've never been to a proper opera, but it was a really, really funny play that we saw. So if you're looking for a gift idea, I don't know, something to do in the summer. Royal Opera House is stunning. They also have a roof bar that you can go in and you don't have to have a ticket. Good place to grab a cocktail. There are loads of photo opportunity arches, but I don't have to say there's significantly less than there was in previous years. Do you remember when Tiffany was here? We we're gonna go and have a look and just see what little food places there are and then have a look inside. There we go, it has a date on the top, 1830, erected by John, Duke of Bedford. And across the top here, actually, you have a beautiful restaurant, Sushi Samba, which has amazing baubles all across the roof. So, uh, yeah, that's always a popular one. And then lots of little stalls with independent sellers. This is cute. I guess a little bit early. Winter warmers from 12 o'clock. Got a little while, but Sip Smith, it tends to be branded um, kind of overlays here. And yeah, get some hot, mulled, slow and ginny drinks. <laughs> That is a big queue for Ben's cookies. Oh my gosh. Oh, I know you've probably seen some of these decorations, but these, oh, they look so much bigger in real life. Hopefully, me using this camera, it comes across a little bit clearer. Oh, wow. Oh, and it's all looking like disco or glitter ball. There we go, glitter ball. Doing all the cute lights all around. This market is always here, always busy. I'll try and just whiz through, because I know people don't like people filming too much, but you can get loads of handmade goods by independent sellers and artists. Again, great presents for yourself or for someone else, but wow. <laughs> I can't believe quite how busy it is. Let's squeeze through. I want to go and see if we can get through. 
Thank you. The Christmas tree. The grand reveal. Oh, it still looks good even in the daytime. This is the same tree as last year. Oh, is this going to come out? It, they've got like flickery lights. Can you see that? They're like a little bit sparkly. They look amazing. Oh, beautiful. And then we have got some little huts. We will see tons of these. There you go. That's a London price. Mold wine for $7.50. And a bit of a snapshot of some prices. They tend to be, be around the same in most places. Maybe an extra quid in inside Leicester Square. place around here look you've got to kind of accept that it's going to be busy you've got to come when it's busy that's half the fun so you have another big street performer in this square and if you can get a table at the punch and judy pub up the top it's not a fancy pub or anything it makes for a good view wow it smells of mulled wine down this little corridor oh it smells amazing oh i really like the simplicity of oh, the moomin shop one of my faves Oh, mod one here is 8.50, it's quid more down here. That's a cute little car, but yeah, 8.50, I don't know. That's a London price for sure, goodness. Last year was like disco balls, wasn't it? So I feel like they've really leaned into the bells. Oh, I love it, it's really cute. And they do have this little sleigh, it's a very big queue, I'm not gonna film it. <laughs> There's a huge queue for these photo opportunities. People are out and feeling festive. Oh, this is so lovely. Everyone's being a bit argy-bargy now, it's that time of the year. Oh, I do like this side. Um, even in the summer, like I said, loads of cute places to get food and drinks. Right now, I kind of wish it was summer. I am cold, guys. And I know everyone's going to be like, minus two, minus three, that's not even cold. So if you are from somewhere that gets cold, comment below how cold it is right now, how cold it gets. Because it always surprises me when people say like, oh, it was minus 10 the other day, whatever. <laughs> Let's go to Trafalgar Square, because let's see if the tree is better than it was. Was that last year or the year before? Do you remember? Did anyone watch those vlogs? Uh, the Christmas tree was pretty shocking, but I want to see some, I don't know, some proper Christmas um, booths, because I haven't got any down here, which is a bit odd, uh, but let's head on over. And I have to say, some of the restaurants around here have got some beautiful decorations outside. Oh, look at this. Would this be cute to sit out? Yeah, definitely need the heaters. Oh my gosh, you guys. My fingers, these, these North Face gloves are not particularly warm, I must say, uh, but this pizza place as well. Look, I love it. They really do try a lot harder down here. I feel like Mayfair needs to step it up just a little bit. Oh, let's have a look at this one. Frenchy Covent Garden. Oh, wow. I really like the tradition. I'm telling you, there's so many like trees and foliage this year. There's always one of these around Covent Garden, usually advertising something. <laughs> The hood is up. I would have a scarf on, but I have this microphone. Also, <laughs> one of the main downsides, oh my gosh, sorry, I keep looking in the viewfinder, of using a really good quality 4K camera is that it shows every lump and bump on your face. Hence why I've noticed a lot of beauty and fashion vloggers don't film in 4K because <laughs> um, you look a little bit fresher. Anyway, we are at, where are we at? Trafalgar Square. Oh, I didn't show you Petersham Nurseries and there's also Seven Dials. Oh, it's a bit cold, I think, for cycling. But we are just by the National Portrait Gallery, Screaming Kids and All. I don't think I've ever been to the National Portrait Gallery, have I? Thank you so much, that was my last song. My name is like, la, la. Do you know what? In the years that I have lived in London, I can't quite believe how busy these markets are. And I know people are going to be like, that's a really stupid thing to say, Hannah, but I'm going to be honest with you. I filmed this a couple of weeks ago, so it's only really just Christmas when I'm filming this. I know. <gasps> Shock horror. Um, so I'm pretty surprised how busy it is. I'm going to have a look around and just see if there's anything that takes my fancy. I'm getting a little bit peckish, but I'm going to try and go over to Leicester Square. So this is a nice little walk. Covent Garden, Trafalgar Square, and then over 
over to Leicester Square. Oh, look at that water. I bet that is freezing cold in there. And yet yeah, no pigeons, no climbing on the on the uh, lions, please, people. I think they have a sign now, yeah, to stop people from doing it. But quite a nice little, little day to go for a walk. And you can't visit Nelson's Column. You can't go up the top, unfortunately. I often get asked, don't feed the birds, even if it is a tuppence a bag. Oh, I can hear, almost hear all the Europeans <laughs> especially the Germans, in the comments saying how this is not a Christmas market, but hey, do you know what, guys? It's better than nothing. Chocolate world, oh, it smells. You can imagine, like, caramelized nuts, churros, and a bit of sausage. There you go, it is 10 pounds, which I think is actually quite steep. I'd be interested to see what they're at at Winter Wonderland. What? There's no tree. What? Why is there no Christmas tree? I didn't know about this. Was there not one last year? Oh my gosh, that's a shame. But it was a bit rubbish, let's be honest. <laughs> Guys, I think I need to get some lunch in a minute. I want to get a bratwurst. Bratwurst? I need to check how to say that. But speaking of which, one of the things that I'm going to do, because, you know, it's nearly 2024, as one of my news resolutions, is try to learn a new language. Um, and I've actually been using Rosetta Stone. They have a really super easy and fun app, um, which helps you learn up to 25 languages if you do the lifetime pass. And yeah, I'm going to try and learn some German. <laughs> actually, maybe just the basics for now, OK? Um, but it has a really great tool, which I'm enjoying. It has a voice recognition tool, so you can talk into your phone, and it can help you with the pronunciation which clearly I need to do. Default. I'm also going to try to learn some basic Spanish. I did Spanish, French and Latin. What's the point in Latin at school? And I literally don't remember any of it. So I think with the end of the year, it's kind of fun to, I don't know, task yourself with something into uh, 2024. So I want to be able to go on holiday and order my meal without just pointing at the menu. So that's a goal of mine. Also, if you have missed the cutoff for delivery at Christmas, I know some of you guys have. I feel like deliveries this year have been really slow, have they not? Then maybe you want to get Rosetta Stone as a gift for someone or maybe for yourself. So check out my link in the description for an exclusive offer and you can get up to 50% of some of the subscriptions, so check it out. Oh yeah, the National Gallery looking fab, but yeah, maybe it's one of those, if you can't get a good tree, don't bother. I've seen some questionable ones. No offense, Americans across America. <laughs> They're always in our news as like the reveal being questionable, but it smells beautiful around here. Proper chocker block. I do think that that bar looks more effort than it's worth. Oh, I think you can just about read that mulled wine is six pounds here. So yeah, a little bit cheaper at Trafalgar Square. Oh my gosh, I'm going to move the camera. Look at this. Look at the queue for the gallery. Is that a joke? Oh my God. Battle through the crowds to see some of the cute products that they have got here. The kind of standard stuff and uh, decorations. I feel like finger puppets are like a really big thing now at Christmas um, markets. And in all of these Christmas vlogs, I finally found somewhere selling some nativity scenes, which someone did make a comment on a while ago, which is a fair point. There hasn't been much. Oh wow, look at those donuts, $3.95. I think that is going to do me. That was pretty intense. It's only a little bit here. If you're passing by, it's OK. I wouldn't say jump on the tube and go and get, come and um, have a look. I don't know. As a Londoner, should I be embarrassed that that is our representation of a Christmas market? But apparently the better one is at Leicester Square, so that's where we're going to go now. And the reason I'm doing this, and you might be like, why are you on your own? Everyone is ill. I feel like this is the time of, of the year in December, well, only just December for me, wink, wink, um, where everyone's getting ill, the kids are all ill. So yes, I am coming back with a friend in a couple of days time or like next weekend um, and we're going to enjoy it. But yeah, it's quite difficult to vlog. I have to ask, why do people go to Eminem World? Like, I don't get it. Like, there's a literal queue. I just don't get it. I love M&M's, but I would never go to an M&M store. And then a mammoth queue for the Lego store. I must confess, this is definitely not somewhere that a Londoner would come. It's definitely for the tourists. So we're going to have a look in Christmas in at Leicester Square. They've got this little map. Looks like, obviously, just a little bit of a Christmas vibe. Yes, Europeans, we have tried. And a little, I think it's bronze statue of 
Mary Poppins, we're just queuing to go in. Hope you won't check a sec, just a quick bag check. Completely pointless bag check. <laughs> But yes, oh, it seems a little bit calmer in here. We've got a few little icicle decorations. You can't quite see it. And it looks like there is a little show. The cheese wheel. Oh, I wondered what that smell was. Let's have a quick sneak. Now, you guys, I haven't really shown you any food. But yeah, you can get little little bowls of cheese. How much are these? These are about, oh, bloody hell, 11 to, what? £16.45. Okay, it does have black truffle, but oh, my God. What a... That's a bit much. I did spend a hundred and something pounds on afternoon tea, but it's a bit different. I do have my uh, my yeses and my noes, but yes, look how busy it is. Oh, it's quite nice down here. And um, the floor obviously is covered, which is quite nice. Often you go to places and it's all muddy. But yeah, follow the crowd. Should we have a look at the menu? We're doing a bit of a mooch today, aren't we? Right, here we go. A pint is six, seven quid. That's about normal for London, to be honest with you. And a uh, mild wine about, yeah, 750 ish. <laughs> Blimey, the queues for food now are crazy. I would say it definitely is showing to me that Winter Wonderland is a lot more of a calmer experience in the day. Um, if you want a Christmas market. Oh, look at this fudge. Whoa, that looks amazing. No price. Is there a price? I don't know, but every so often you get like a waft of sugar walking around. Oh, there's a gap. Quick, I can walk. Look at these topped donuts. Oh, there you go. Four donuts for six. Or if you want toppings, they're basically, yeah, £2.50 a donut. I feel like these are staples of like, a, I don't know if this is genuine for like a European market, but look how many there are. What? They like marshmallows that are dipped right. Flipping neck, this is actually a bit overwhelming. I'm usually all right with vlogging, but it's a bit tricky today. Uh, yes, yeah, so you've got another Bratwurst place again, £10. And maybe is this the normal price now? I guess I'll find out when I go to Winter Wonderland, but it does smell pretty good. Just saw someone walk around and they had basically churros filled tub. It was huge, but how much is a churros? Uh, Flip neck, nine quid. Oh, you get quite a lot though, to be fair, or a large one. Oh yeah, the family bucket, 25 pounds. Why? Who is spending 25 pounds on churros? There are a few little stalls in here. Remember Leicester Square? It isn't very big, so I think they've done quite a good job, actually. And then just some normal kind of burger and fries. How much is a classic? Nine pounds. And if you want it with cheese, it's ten. And we saw a chocolate world earlier. We still love these. I know there's loads of these everywhere. Eight pounds for a little kebab with some different fruits on it. There we go. Or you can get a little cup or a big cup for 14 pounds. This is a popular one. O'Donnell Moonshine, 50%. I, I, I don't get what Moonshine is. Would anyone recommend it? As I filmed before, I would say this is a very accessible market to come to. If you are coming, yeah, there's proper toilets and everything. And I've seen quite a lot of signs to say like access and things like that. So yeah. A few little jewellery shops and, um, oh, some wingers, wings? Wait, what? Apple crumble? Am I what, on the chicken? Are we okay? Is that a thing? Barbecue, buffalo blue cheese, honey sesame. What's this last one? Jack Daniels. And these are, oh my gosh. Hold on a minute. Ooh, ten. Wait, what's the price? Ten, ten pounds? Eight pounds? Who knows until you order. <laughs> so yes, the South Bank, uh, down by the river, obviously, the south of the bank, um, is another place that has quite a few little huts. I feel like it gets a little bit more credit than it's actually due, because it's like not the nicest Christmas market to go to. But I did watch a couple of videos where people have come to London and said how amazing these markets are. And I'm going to be honest with you, like, they're OK. Um, I'm glad I've come out today, even though everyone's ill. It's nice to have a little bit of a mooch and get my steps in. but. I'm gonna be honest with you, like I wouldn't get on a train and come to London just specifically for these markets, because like they're okay, they're not great. And there's a Rowan Atkinson and Mr. Bean statue here, and you can have a little photo. There was a bit of a queue. I'm a bit over it, guys. I'm not gonna lie, so I'm gonna head on into Mayfair. But I think they did a quite good job. I'll give that like a six out of ten. But saying that, some people will say that's a ten out of ten, and that's what they want. So um, it will basically ignore my scorings on things, but it's okay. I haven't walked through Chinatown in so long. 
I actually need some Chinatown restaurant recommendations. If anyone knows, comment below. I know what you're all thinking, Hello, you didn't even get any food. I'm actually gonna save myself to get a bratwurst with my sister and my two little nieces because we are going to a winter wonderland. I'm so excited. Um, literally a couple of days before Christmas. The only downside for you guys watching is I'm probably not gonna be able to vlog it because I can't edit it and upload it in time. So there might be a few clips in the next video, um, but we'll see. I really wanna get one of these. Should I do this instead? I think this is my kind of thing. Oh, look at that. Ice cream. It's a bit cold for that. Oh, it's busy. That means it's good, right? It smells amazing in here. I think I might have to get something. <laughs> buns, buns, and more buns. Oh my God, what do I get? There's tons in here. Oh, look at these as well. I'm sure some people watching this will be like, Hannah, this is not that exciting, but I think it is. Oh my God, look at these. These are so cute. Red bean mini moon cake. I feel like the vlog has just taken a turn and now I'm just showing you food in, in shops in Chinatown. Oh my gosh, for $1.90, let's give this a go. That feels incredibly cheap. Rice pork pineapple bun. Oh gosh, what else should I get? So they've got custard in them. I will try one in a second. Oh my God. Oh my gosh, £2.50 for four and they've got custard in them. They're really warm. Sausage in a bun. It looks like a frankfurter. It looks a bit dead, but these were quite popular. I think I chose badly there. It tastes of literal nothing, but anyway, all good. But the little fishies were good, I'd recommend. I feel like I actually need some recommendations for Chinatown and not TikTok ones. <laughs> but speaking of TikTok, actually, there is a new trend. Frazzled English woman. Apparently it's an aesthetic and that is what I feel like I am today. Being on Shaftesbury Avenue on a Saturday is not somewhere a Londoner ever will be. But I haven't been down here in ages, so it's nice to see it. Have I had my hood up the whole time? But my friend has actually just messaged me and they're in Fort Louis Mason. So I'm gonna go down. I think we're gonna go to Farmer J, which is like one of our favorite kind of like organic food places to go. It's so yummy if you're looking for a good spot. And um, yeah, I'm gonna love and leave you guys and say Merry Christmas. Um, when are you seeing this? This is crazy. So Friday the 22nd, it's the 22nd, right? Yeah, because Christmas is Monday. Um, that will be my final vlog of the year, which is crazy. I can't believe we are about to go into 2024. So make sure you're subscribed so that you can see, I don't know, future videos, whatever I end up doing. Maybe start commenting below. What do you want to see next year? Which is a bit scary, right? And remember, give this video a thumbs up if you did enjoy it. I would say Christmas markets. I don't know, I don't know. We'll see what it's like when I come with those people, but I think it's more stressful when there's a group of you. But I would say it's definitely made me realize that paying for Winter Wonderland, I think it's five pounds to seven pound 50 for adults, depending on off peak on peak. I actually think it's worth it if you can afford to go, because um, it's a bit calm, it's really spaced out. There's loads of places to see, there's live, live music. Yeah, I really like it there. Anyway, I'm gonna love and leave you. Thanks guys, and I will see you on Friday at 6 p.m. Bye. Yes, it is the best day of the year. Here, here.